The next block in our script is something called T-shifting, or slice time and correction. The idea behind this is we have a series of slices, usually going from bottom to the top, and they're all acquired at slightly different times. So if we're going to look in our script here, this is the whole T-shift block. It's not very long, but what we have here is this 3D T-shift command, and it loops this over all the runs in our data set. What this T0 option means is to interpolate all the slices as though they were all acquired at the beginning of each TR. Use a certain uh, level of interpolation. This is Quintic, so it's a fifth order polynomial. And then give it this name for the output, PB01, and with the T-shift appended to it. And we're inputting this TCAT data set from the previous block. Okay. So I'll show you what this looks like. I'm gonna close close that image. Just leave the sagittal image open. Okay. And what I'm also gonna do is go into FT analysis, FT dot results. And I'm going to use this command called 3D info to get some more information about this TCAT data set. I'm going to give it an option, verb, all uppercase, and I'm only going to grab the information that I want. So grep offsets. <clears throat> what you'll see here is the timing that each slice was acquired at. So this is also known as interleaved ascending. So this is slice number one. It's acquired at obviously the very beginning of the TR. This is actually acquired 1.03 seconds into the volume acquisition, and then 0.061. So what you see is they're interleaved. So we actually acquired this slice, then this slice, number three, then this slice, number five, then this slice, number seven, up until the end. Then we go back and acquire every other slice. So that's what that looks like. And if we look at this TCAT image, so before any slice timing has happened, and let's go to a certain, certain location here. Let's just go to this lower left location. All right, what you'll see here, if we go all the way over here, so at index zero, the value is zero, right? and value is six here, and it's at time point two. So this is two seconds into the scan. This is the second volume we've acquired. So I'm pressing the right arrow key each time, and every time it increases, the time in seconds increases by two seconds, okay? Because our TR repetition time was two seconds. Okay, now if I stay in this same location right here, but I go up one slice, well, what do you know what happens? We actually go up by 1.03 seconds. Okay, look at that time right there, 1.03. If I go up one more slice, I should see 0.061 as I saw in that 3D info command. So I keep going up, and each time I go up, you see the values are interleaved. So we recover this slice, then this slice, then this slice, all the way up till the end, then we go all the way back, and we acquire every other slice. Let's compare this to our slice time correct data set. So I open up a new Apne Viewer, open up Sagittal. For underlay, we are going to do the T-shift run one. So same run, it's just had this. Open a graph window. Let's go to the same location, just in the very bottom left. And now, I'm going to resize these just so you can see what's going on. So now notice the values right here. So index zero, at zero, and I'm just going to go up by one slice. Okay, so zero, and it remains at zero. 
So here, these numbers are increasing. They're switching all over the place because we, we acquired interleaved slices, but here it remains zero. If I go in time, just one time point, and I keep going through the slices up and down, that remains constant. That's the effect of slice timing correction.